Hey guys, welcome back to our John Wick Chapter 4 spoiler review. This movie was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I'm going to start with the things I didn't like, because they are very few before we get into the fun things for later. A couple of things I didn't like, they're really minor. This movie still falls for the Infinite Magazine issue. I don't really think anyone expected it to get away from that problem. It's a very common problem in action movies. And for people being trained assassins and hitmen, charging at someone when they have a melee weapon and you have a gun just doesn't seem like a really smart thing to do. Like running up to them point blank range and then pulling the trigger seems like a really easy way to get hit in the face. I, I don't 100%. know why I don't know why these people keep doing it. Other than that, like Keanu had minimal dialogue, and for the lines he did have, they were very... They repeated lines from previous movies, which was probably for callback reasons. And I, I, I was okay with that. I sh I do wish maybe he was had a little bit more lines, but John Wick is a man of few words, so I, I can't really be too frustrated at that. But they did a lot of great things with this movie. The cinematography was amazing. The German nightclub fight scene i was really liked the uh the waterfall effect in that whole fight scene i thought that one was really well done as well as the two sequences uh, on the staircase towards the end i think those two fights really stood out to me quite a bit and the camera work during throughout this entire movie was spectacular and really crisp like i don't think many movies especially with live action with very very little cgi has that crisp of camera quality i don't recall seeing a movie like that recently yeah i'll start where, where griff started uh the things that i didn't like so what he said i agree 100 percent. you know the like, not running out of bullets i need that to start to become a little bit more realistic idiotic hitman charging at a guy who has a weapon that's gonna you know obliterate their face I, I think that was that's a dumb choice. Also, what you know in the staircase when he's just whacking guys and they're you know all of a sudden you pan back to them and they're the bodies aren't there. That bugs me. That takes I me. How they were there? I was looking for that error. I, I didn't see them and that bugs me. That takes me back to Star Wars: Attack of the Clones. You know, like at the <laughs> end, the big Jedi battle and all these Jedi start getting dropped by these droids. Yeah, and, and then there. like and the, yeah, and then when Yoda shows up. I'm like, where the hell are all the bodies and all the busted droids? Like that, that's how I felt. And I just, while watching this, I, I immediately gravitated to that. And I thought that was a dumb choice by George. But, you know. I, I could have sworn the bodies were there. But that does remind me for the staircase scene. One thing that was pretty dumb is how far he fell down those stairs over and over and over again. That was a bit yeah. long. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But other than that, no, man. I mean, uh, we finally got that fucking kill somebody with the pencil trick. Yeah. Which I thought was super dope because they talked about that one in the first movie, you know, over and over. They they made him seem bigger than Michael Myers, you know. Like, what's his name's dad was like, Baba Yaga. And he was like, he killed somebody with the fucking pencil. And then they, <laughs> they mentioned that in the second one. And uh, I just was always like, the, show the pencil trick. Joker does it in The Dark Knight. But it's you see it, you kind of don't see it. Here we saw it, and he grabs that pencil, he goes for it, man. Which I thought was dope. I like John Wick. I just I, I think it's a fun ride. I think, you know, I don't. There's no, I there's no part of me that thinks that this movie's gonna win the Academy Award for best movie. But I think it's a solid, solid cast. I think it's an amazing thrill ride. Uh, I liked it more than two and three for sure. 100%. Uh, part one is still my my heavy favorite. But uh, this movie, they go all over the place. I love the villain. I think Bill is phenomenal here. Donnie Yen is, is awesome here. Again, playing a blind dude, but okay, I get it. Lawrence, as always, he's he's phenomenal. Ian is, I think, is, is, is great. I've always thought he was great in anything that dude does. Yeah. Clancy Brown, I mean... Whatever that dude does, I've been a fan of. Whether it's him <laughs> playing Lex Luthor, whether it's him, you know, being the hard ass CEO in uh, Starship Troopers, just anything this guy does, man, and he's got a great voice. The supporting cast is fantastic. I love the way this movie ended. 
I don't want to jump ahead too much, but I, I, I did. I, I, it could be of two ways. I've seen it online. John dies in this movie, which I thought was okay. I, I like I'm that. I'm very happy with it. He can't keep doing this forever. I don't want to, you know, I just told Griff last night. I got excited, maybe a little too much. He called me. He was like, I just finished. And we were talking about it. And I was just like, I just don't want this to end up being the next Fast and the Furious series. You know, where they're on their 10th run. And I don't want to see John Wick fight the next villain in outer space, which is, you know, probably not going to happen. But when you continue these movies, inevitably the franchise falls. And here you have a perfect opportunity to bring it full circle. As Griff said, he's he's done. He, you know, he's on he's okay with the with the with the big table. And he dies. Now, yes, there are fans that are saying, Oh, he he probably faked his death. That could be. And if that's the case, and he's out living a great life with his dog in the Bahamas, sipping mojitos, that's fine. I just don't want to see it. Keep that stuff off screen. Or Leave me with my ignorance, and I prefer to think he really died, and he's at peace, and he's reunited with his wife. That's my scenario in my head, because I think it it, it finalizes this. Yes, there are spinoffs. I don't know, and Griff and I both agree, we don't know necessarily how well those movies are going to, I mean, those spinoff things are going to do. We'll watch them and support them and hope for the best. But for the, for me, personally, this is this is a perfect finale. He gets revenge. He does what he needed to, and he's reunited with his wife. Yeah, I agree. I remember an interview when John Wick 3 was coming out saying, will John Wick ever get a happy ending? Of course, their answer was no. I think this ending here is about as happy as a John Wick ending can be. He got out, and then he died and is reunited with his wife. That's about as happy as the ending they can give to John Wick. I remember seeing an interview for this movie then uh, saying that Keanu and the director, they don't have anything planned for John, John Wick 5. I think that's, I kind of knew then John's, John's going to die in this movie. If they don't have plans for the next one, they're, this is probably the end for him. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy they did end up killing John Wick. Cause like I already said, this was a really perfect ending for him. I don't think it could have been any better. I think everything he has been doing has been leading to this. As everyone said in every single John Wick movie, the only way he's getting out is with him dying. I really hope they don't cheapen his death with him still being alive. Because there's, there's no reason to actually fake his death. Because he, he got out from under the table. He could still live and have his happy ending. Faking his death doesn't really seem like something he would need to do considering he already got out for this storyline. I mentioned this to Griff just just minutes before doing the the review and i told him i was like well maybe he faked his death because he knows he's smart enough dude to know that somehow some way someone will drag him back into this and and he had to fake his death which again i'm okay with if that's what happened but i just don't want to see it off screen you know like i i do not want to see a john wick chapter five where i don't know his long lost niece is in trouble and he needs to come out of hiding and, and help her out or some some crap like that. Let's face it, Hollywood is Hollywood, and they're I mean this already made ideas. more money. This already made more money than Shazam, and why wouldn't it? It's a far better movie. But Hollywood it has a tendency of like, oh, it made me money. I, I need another one right away. And maybe the director will say, you know what, I'm done. I, I did what I needed to do. But they could find another director and I'm afraid they'll approach Keanu and hit him with the right price and we'll have John Wick 5. And I'm not saying for one second that John Wick 5 will be crap because it could be phenomenal. I just think that they ended it beautifully and I would love it to stay that way instead of it possibly, let's be honest, 95% chance the fifth one really sucks. Yeah. One thing I also did like about this movie, and this involves the after credit scene, is that I completely forgot about the character of Akira and that she said she was going to kill Kane. That was a fantastic after credit scene. I completely forgot that was going to happen. I'm really sad he died. Kane was probably one of my favorite characters in this movie. I was very much looking forward to him being reunited with his daughter, but of course, as they said in this movie, it's not, not the life meant for them. The story in this movie was really well done and well put together, and it tied into nicely John Wick 1, 2, and 3. 
And the sad thing is that this whole John Wick timeline takes place in less than a year. It's been a hell of a year for John Wick. Which again, another Star Wars reference. So John Wick has gone through all of this hell in one year. And Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode three, you know, uh, to episode four, it's only about a 19 year period. He looks like hell. He looks like a 70 year old dude. And here Keanu still looks, you know, probably younger than me. That's mind blowing. Sadly, I saw an interview with Keanu about Lance Riddick and Lance's character dies in this film, which I thought sucked because I like the character. But sadly, he actually passed away in real life, which, you know, in in the interview, Keanu breaks down because he was like, obviously, at the time when they filmed that scene, they had no idea that this was going to happen. So it hits home harder. And the rest of the cast has 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 talked about that. And they were like, it's now it's hard to watch. Because, you know, it's kind of a fucked up scene. He, He gets gets killed but now he's passed away in real life and uh that dude was an integral part of the john wick franchise he wasn't on screen for a long time he didn't have like a whole lot of stuff to do but the stuff he did the scenes between him and keanu i thought were heartwarming and what keanu had to say about lance that was really dope and uh, he will be sadly missed yes he will may he rest in peace thank you guys for watching Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with our current videos. Let us know what you think about John Wick Chapter 4. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.